Hello everyone. Uh, this video is about enterprise systems and processes. It's a level 5 unit uh, called ESP or U22059. And what we try to do during the course of the unit is to show you how you might become a practitioner of enterprise systems and processes, which may lead into other things in other jobs. So we are interested in enterprise solutions for business and there are processes at the heart of every business in the making of uh, products selling of products the buying in of components that are needed to make those products shipping and manufacturing warehousing etc so behind every business there are business processes that need to be implemented and run and that's what SAP does. It's one of the market leading ERP vendors and we look at that software in particular while we're working through the, the throes of the course. Technology runs the world and behind the scenes enterprise wide software systems are managing what happens. So whether it be a change order which reloads a large ocean going ship uh, whether it's factories and monitoring of processes, uh, whether it's keeping airplanes on time and making sure they deliver the right freight, whether it's reporting on safety issues, or even monitoring the real-time data coming from a racing car. SAP and ERP is designed to uh, enable all that to happen. So we're going to look at enterprise resource planning systems primarily on this unit uh, and that consists of things that uh, handle inventory um, marketing products accounting for what's been bought and sold how we sell the products make them and how those orders are managed we're going to look primarily at sap as i said but we also look at oracle systems and microsoft dynamics and we'll look also at mobile uh, systems. There are lots of apps available to do these enterprise-wide software system uh, type of uh, transactions on mobile apps as well. So you'll learn some ERP theory and do some practice. On the left-hand side here, we can see the SAP Business Suite, and you can see different types of people with different uh, roles within the company. Uh, so in the center there you have SAP ERP and that's what we'll primarily use. It has some add-on uh, parts such as custom relationship management, supply chain management, product lifecycle management and supplier relationship management. Um, and each of those has a, has a role to play in managing logistics, um, accounting, manufacturing um, and human capital management as I say the, there are a lot of different roles within the company and they they are managed through human capital management. On the right hand side you can see the order to cash cycle. So this is one of the uh, things we'll be working through in the labs where SD stands for sales and distribution so all those blue activities there like create new customer, create a contact person for the customer, change the customer, uh, create a quotation and inquiry quotation sales order all that happens in sales and distribution but in materials management we might want to check stock status uh, post a goods issue for example and in fi module which is financial accounting we might create an invoice to invoice the customer for what we've sold them uh, or post a receipt for their payment In the labs you're going to get some good practice using SAP. These are practical skills and you'll find that SAP ERP software is used in quite a few companies. It's the market leader. Um, so you can see an example of some of the case studies we work through and we just do transactions and uh, see the results and take some screen dumps to show that we've done that. SAP has a lot of communities of practice that are working um, around the software. 
so there is an SAP community network which provides lots of information about different aspects of SAP and allows you to learn about it too. Um, we'll be looking um, down in the bottom left here you can see there's SAP ERP we do financials operations human resources um, we will look at product lifecycle management and we'll also look at each module in a kind of theoretical sense in a further unit you can go on to study business intelligence and in that bottom left hand corner you have the data, data warehouse um, we also have a, a client a data warehouse client where we uh, do practice in that area but that's in level six so you can choose to do that if you complete this one the syllabus an assessment for 2015-16 um, it's all couched around the idea of an enterprise solutions practitioner so there is managing business strategy we plan by creating IT functions and processes um, achieving business goals and aligning the IT with business goals um, looking at ERP markets and who supplies these products um, and look at the real-time business so there is in-memory databases which make all these transactions m run much faster so you can actually run queries and find out real-time results um, to give you intelligence about what the company should be doing in managing technology and process we'll look at the IT um, foundation the, the platform that everything runs on so we'll look at consolidation and virtualization um, different types of cloud computing and how we might re-engineer processes and manage them in the third section of the course we look at managing design and deployment so here we're looking at choosing enterprise systems selecting the software what are the considerations you need to take into consideration designing enterprise systems uh, methodologies of implementing them in uh, a company and then the process of deploying them and testing them and training staff and then finally we look at managing projects and people so that's making the case for the for the um, software to be put in we look at uh, successes and failures in ERP projects and how best practice can be learned we look at change agents and how they run projects well and their influence um, we'll look at the order to cash cycle and various other cycles as well and then managing the ERP ecosystem and SAP has built up quite a large number of consultants and um, systems integrators and clients and customers and universities training staff um, as one big ecosystem and we'll look at that so key questions are how does IT support business development what is ERP and what is the real-time business how can businesses deploy ERP successfully and how do you use SAP ERP systems in practice we'll go through these different modules in the lab so SD is the first one sales and distribution but we'll also cover materials management production planning financial accounting cost accounting or management accounting and human capital management there are three um, main pieces of assessment there's a 1500 word ERP report looking at how in summary we deploy uh, an enterprise-wide software system and also some of the features of them assignment 2 is a video a screencast made using Camtasia Studio uh, or one of the Camtasia um, pieces of software it's 10 minutes maximum and in that you talk about the ecosystem the SAP ecosystem how it's keeping that company ahead of the market it has 26 percent of the world market share so what is it that keeps the SAP ahead of the other companies and then finally um, replacing the end of year exam for next year are module tests so after the each block of um, teaching each um, module you'll get a short test of 20 multiple choice questions and each one of those tests will be worth a certain amount um, so that the total number of tests is worth 25 percent of the unit mark and um, so this allows you to 
review uh, theory at home and then show that you have actually picked up the information and the, and the knowledge from it. And then we work on problems and projects in class. So we do that in some nice facilities. We have a Teal Studio, Teal Studio 1, where we sit around the table and discuss implementation projects. Uh, and you might be researching a particular area for presenting to the rest of the class later on. So it's much more an interactive method of teaching and there are no lectures where, well, in actual fact, there are brief lectures where we just set the scene of what's going to happen in the tour room. Um, but it's not like a, a formal lecture in the same way uh, into any um, anything like as great an extent as you might have been used to. Uh, the computer labs, we have SAP ERP6 in there and um, you can... Uh, work through the transactions supervised by a lab tutor. Finally, um, there is something called the SAP Learning Hub and you can pay £200 to have a 12 month subscription to it. This is on top of your course fees, but it's a very, very good deal because these courses cost thousands if you were working in a company after graduation. So it really does give you a fantastic access and you can choose to do that 12 months um, either in the second year or the third year or even while you're on placement if you choose to. Um, so it's a kind of interactive portal. There are social learning rooms and online courses and system access if you choose to have that and even um, a SAP certification. You can do a SAP certification exam in one of those courses if you choose to. So there's quite a lot of wonderful things to be had there um, and you can really skill yourself up to be a um, a good consultant or a, a good employer to a company that uses SAP. So when you graduate what, what might it mean for you? Uh, well there are some consultants consulting companies on the right hand side here Accenture, um, Capgemini, the systems integrator uh, CSC is a, a well-known uh, consultancy, has a big SAP practice, as does IBM, of course. I haven't shown IBM there. Uh, Eden House is a big consultancy. You are always looking for SAP staff. Bluefin, another one, and iTelligence. Uh, I've just posted some some typical skills. So a graduate IT support analyst just using SAP uh, earns a starting salary is anything up to 26000 um, but you can earn 40 to 50 or even higher a uh, thousand in jobs that have where you've gained a bit more experience and if you've done some of those um, uh, courses that I was just mentioning that you get for the subscription then you really can start to um, push your earnings up quite quickly there are also um, Opportunities at SAP itself, it's a very big company, it has 60,000 employees and it's a glo global reach company. Uh, the head office is, is up by the M25 in the UK. Uh, GlaxoSmithKline has a future leaders program for IT and they use SAP in manufacturing etc. So there are lots of opportunities to use SAP there, SAP skills there. But you could just as easily go to a another ERP vendor. So those are some of the reasons to sign up for U22059 ESP Enterprise Systems and Processes. So why not learn how to make the world run better? And I'm just going to show you a short video um, which shows the global reach of SAP and what it does. Thank you for listening. When technology is done right, the extraordinary becomes ordinary. When technology is done right, it seems simple, efficient, intuitive. It becomes somewhat invisible. The result is that scheduled flights arrive on schedule. Products are safer, supply chains tighter. Engagement becomes more personalized and real-time information becomes real-time knowledge and instantly actionable. 
When technology is done right, the world runs better. Our mission is to help our customers become best-run businesses. So our innovative solutions combine the best of breakthrough technologies in applications, analytics, mobile, databases, and cloud to solve complex problems, optimize resources, and fuel growth. We help our customers imagine new ways of doing business and inspire people to be their best. Of course, we never lose sight of the fact that it isn't about us. What we do is help our customers do what they do better. And we do it by understanding what our customers' customers want. For example, Adisa Bako's world runs better because her income was increased by 60%. Jonathan Peterson's world runs better because his medicine was properly administered. And Martha Miller's world runs better because her electric bill was reduced again. For 40 years, our technology has touched the lives of hundreds of millions of people every day. We're SAP, and our vision is to help the world run better by improving people's lives.